The feature I'm going to show you today with Ultimate Defrag version 6 is the View Volume Info tab. Um, I guess another good name for this would be a Defrag Explorer. Um, in what it can do, it enables you to basically view all the individual fragmented files all in the one panel. And you can sort via a different number of different fields. Um, I'm going to go into it now and show you. If we sl select the fragmented files tab, it brings up a window here of all the fragmented files that are on this drive. There are 4,304 fragmented files, 199,404 fragments, and it's actually 1.18 terabytes of fragmented files. And the columns here will show you the different fields that you can actually sort by. Um, first one being the start cluster, which is the cluster number on the drive, and you can sort via lowest to highest or vice versa. Um, we can actually sort the files by the number of fragments so that you've got the lowest number of fragments, uh, or if I reverse that, it'll basically sort descending um, and you'll see here that some of these files are quite fragmented, 1800 fragments there, 1396 fragments there, and so on. You can sort by file size. We've got a couple of really big fragmented files. Um, there is 12.1 gig, etc., 9.4 gig. Fragment per megabyte is basically the fragmentation density of the file, and in fact, this number here is the really the ultimate, um, I guess, measure of how a file would perform as a result of its free fragmentation because it's the number of fragments per megabyte. Okay, and so that is really the best measure of the degree of fragmentation of a file. And you'll see here these smaller files have got a very high fragment density. Like this is a 26K file with seven fragments. It's basically 275 fragments per megabyte. Like the average fragments per meg on the whole drive here is 0.16, or at least not on the whole drive, but on all these fragmented files. So these are extremely fragmented. Let's scroll down here and find a couple of bigger files because this will show us um, here's a 7.4 meg file with 84 fragments. So it's got a fragmentation density of about 11.26. You can sort by file um, or folder. It will also sort by folder. And it will also sort uh, by compressed files and folders as well. If it has a little superscripted C, it means that it's compressed with NTFS compression. You can sort via the creation date of the file, the last access date of the files, the last modified date of the files by extension, okay, or even just the full path of the files as well. Uh, the good thing about sorting by extension, you can basically go here and you can select, let's say, all the JPEG files. I can, uh, what we'll do is we'll scroll down here and we'll do a shift a shift click when we get to the end of our JPEGs. I've copied a lot of uh, files, images from my cell phone. Um, so if I now just do, I've selected the top file. If I do shift click, it's selected all those fragmented files, or at least all the JPEG fragmented files. And if I right click here, it'll enable me to defragment all those files. So if I click defragment now, it's actually going to defragment them. And it also updates here on the fly. So you'll see the number of files countdown, the number of fragments of those specific files, how big, how much data there is there, and also the fragmentation density. And so that's a pretty cool feature too. So I'm going to stop this and we'll look at a couple of other things that you can do. Let's go to an individual file. 
Okay, so I've got this file here. It's 360 megabytes, 358 um, fragment, uh, fragments. So I can just right click on that file and I can do a number of things. I can highlight the file on the drive. So I'm going to, this will go off screen for a moment because um, I've got two monitors here and this second monitor is not being uh, recorded but if I now I'm clicking on highlight this file and you'll see on the drive here it'll show you where all the fragments are okay so that's scattered all around the drive here I'm going to drag this back we're going to right click again and we can show the containing block so what it'll do if I right click and do show containing block it's going to go to the very lowest cluster that that file begins at Okay, so that's and it's it's also highlighted at the same time. So if I just click up here, or let's click in a completely different part of the disk, and again I'm going to click Show Containing Block, and it's found it here. Okay, so oh sorry, that was a different file, wrong file. There we go. Let's do it again. Highlight uh, Show Containing Block, and it's found this file here. Okay, I can right click here and do sorry just left click and I can do some functions or I can go back here drag this back across and I can open the folder within Windows so it will actually open the folder the file and there we go I've selected the wrong file again so I'm gonna click there I'm gonna go right click open containing folder and it will open the folder in Windows and it will actually also select the file in Windows so you don't have to then search for that file it's automatically selected I can right click and I can compress and defragment um, and let me do that so I'm gonna compress that file and it's doing a compression now and then it's gonna defragment it in a minute you'll see the fragment count go up because when you compress a file the number of fragments increases on that file and that's now defragmented that file so compressed it and defragmented it um, so and what I can also do is I can select fragment all the files in the containing folder and it's going to go ahead and defragment all these files that are in this particular folder which is pretty cool so you, you know you locate one file in that folder and you can select defragment all the files in this folder and it, it will go ahead and do that um, let me do that again and you'll see here it's moving some files around down here because it's making room for that particular file and if we go and look at our disk display you'll see where it's moving these files around here okay so I'm gonna stop on that I'll drag this window back across you can let's say you just want to defragment all the files you've modified in the past seven days or that you've saved in the past seven days and or let's say I'm just gonna do the ones I've done in the past few days so I'm gonna right click there and so I've selected all the files that have changed in the past four days I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say defragment now and it's just gonna go ahead and quickly defragment those files done okay you might want to also sort by files that you last accessed so let's look at all the files we've last accessed and say the last seven days and that's just on this D drive so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna defragment now and it's just gonna defragment those files that I've last accessed in the past seven days that are fragmented okay so and that's it um, not much else to show you on this except that you know you have got this flexibility of doing all sorts of uh, you know sorting and and choosing which files you want to um, you want to defragment I'm gonna uh, 
yeah so I'm just gonna select these spreadsheet files here we'll just select those right click defragment now and it's just gonna go ahead and defragment all those particular files okay so that's it this is a fun option to play with um, you can really see what's going on you get to kind of know your file system and get to know which files fragment and, and you know which ones don't and you know you can do those individual operations on them and uh, I guess that's it for this video so it's www.disktricks.com and the software is Ultimate Defrag version 6 and it is more than just a defragmenter as you can see and the most important thing about ultimate defrag is that it optimizes your hard drive whilst all other defragmenters only defragment files which is really only a minor part of the hard drive performance degradation equation okay the other two important factors are where on your platters your files exist and how packed those files are your seek confinement so you're minimizing your seek times and you're maximizing your transfer rates and that's the the primary thrust of this particular product ultimate defrag so thank you for your time